Traditionally, women didn't have much of a role in Buddhism. The books were all written by the boys, especially monks, for other monks. So therefore, the general view of the feminine was, um, on the whole, uh, rather misogynic because, you know, women was the forbidden other who was out there waiting to pounce on good, innocent little monks, you know. Um, so it, it has a rather negative view of women, mostly, on the whole, uh, which was very hard um, in that society for women to really uh, become educated and to uh, get the deeper teachings and to really accomplish. I mean, with some exceptions. But nowadays, of course, all that's changed very much. I mean, lay women are going to you know, schools along with the boys and they're going to college and they're becoming highly educated. And now nuns, likewise, are becoming very educated. This year, there will be the first crop of uh, Geshe Ma, the, like Doctors of Divinity, um, with their certificates offered by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. So now the nuns, certainly more than anybody, are really coming on very much. And also they're doing much uh, more profound um, spiritual practices and staying in long-term retreats. And uh, in every way, they are recognizing their potential. And it has to be said, as far as that is concerned, the, the people who have really been the, the main supporters and helpers in this have been the monks. Once they got the idea that nuns actually could study, then they were the teachers and uh, extremely enthusiastic and, and very, very encouraging for the nuns. Once they, the idea came that they were in opposition, they weren't. They, they were very, very supportive. What they are in opposition to is the idea of full ordination for nuns, which has reached, had a very interesting a wall of resistance for the last 30 years since it's been uh, muted. They still haven't decided. We're looking to his Holiness the Gyalwan Karmapa, uh, who has promised that he will see that it's done. Uh, we have to wait and see how he plans to do it, uh, because everybody will be looking, and it's very important that he does it right, as he knows. But we hope he does see a way that that everybody can agree, yes, that is a valid ordination. And once that is done, then that opens the doors for everybody. I mean, if you go to any nunnery and you ask them what is the main obstacle, they will always say low self-esteem and lack of confidence. It will take time. I mean, I have noticed that the first nuns of whom we received, the first girls who became nuns in our nunnery, um, who were from Ladakh, uh, the difference between their level of uh, confidence and nuns who come now, who are, as it were, standing on their shoulders, uh, is quite encouraging. I mean, the, the new crop of girls are much more, uh, they don't know that they're supposed to be, you know, meek and submissive. They, they are already way ahead, you know, in, in their, what they can do. They believe they can do anything because they can see this earlier crop have done that now and so they don't think there's anything to doubt. The first group of nuns I had, I said, do you believe that males are inherently m more intelligent than females? And they all said, oh yes. So I said, well, no. Actually, I mean, it's just they have more opportunity than you do. When you have equal opportunity, you both do well. Some males are very intelligent, some are pretty dumb. Some females are intelligent, some are dumb. You know, it's just they're human beings. You know, it's not one is more superior than the other one. And now I think if I ask the same question, they, they would be puzzled by the, the, the question itself. But of course we're intelligent. Why not? Now we also have... Uh, teachers from other nunneries who have finished their studies. One of them is about to become a Geshe. And so they also teach philosophy and debating to the nuns. So they have role models of uh, senior nuns who themselves are very learned. And so, you know, it's coming along.
coming along.